today I'm going to show you bell on the ribbon. That's another mobile. Uh, it's really lovely mobile. It's actually one of my favorite. So it can be used for a baby when he or she turned four months. So it looks like this. Again, it has a ribbon. You can use primary colors, red, yellow, or blue. Um, I used a blue ribbon on uh, a ring on ribbon. And this one, you can find a really good quality bell. Did you hear the sound of the bell? It, it kind of like really clear and crisp. So it's really kind of heavy too. It's actually, I've seen them uh, on the horse, uh, horse bell. So maybe if you can find them on the market and make sure it has really good sound. And here at the end, you can attach a piece of elastic on the mobile stand or uh, from a string from the ceiling. And make sure again, it's within uh, 30 centimeters of the baby's vision field or so he or she can see it clearly but also make sure it's within the wiping range of the baby's arm and hand because we want them to bet on it and grasp it so if it's too far away he or she cannot really bat it but if it's too close will probably hurt him or herself so you really need to look at the length of your baby's arm and, and hand together and so find a really appropriate distance. So again, when the baby is fed, alert and awake and ready to do some movement or practice, and we can put the baby, Gabby, here on the top and chino and on the floor. At first, the baby will uh, randomly hit the bell and it produces sound. And that will make him or her to feel, oh, I touched the bell and then it produces sound. So gradually, with a lot of reputation, with a lot of practice, with a lot of experiment, and he or she will find, oh, actually I can make an impact. I can make my own music because I can, I can bat it slow, grasp it, like making this sound, or I can bat really fast. So it all, it's all different. That's actually where voluntary movement is created. The voluntary movement is the movement directed by mind. If the baby wants to make a music with this bell, he or she has to track the movement of the bell and use his or her eyes to direct the hand to bat or grasp the bell. So it also requires eye-hand coordination because by batting on the bell, the baby creates his or her own music and that motivates the baby to repeat and uh, to keep exploring this uh, material. And during this process, concentration is being built. So when the baby is trying to uh, bat it and uh, grasp it, maybe he or she will fail many times. But as adults, as long as the baby is safe, we can actually not interfere. We can sit back and observe that the baby repeat and do his or her maximum effort uh, to achieve this goal. And it's a beautiful process. Let's sit back and observe. So you can make this uh, uh, belt on the ribbon at home. You can attach a stitch here the bell and then remember to attach a piece of elastic at the end.